Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to descale the Chefman Barista Espresso Machine, model number RJ54-V2. So is your espresso shot not as hot as it used to be, and is your milk not frothing as well or as hot as it used to be? It could be that you've got some mineral buildup on the inside and it's time to descale with vinegar. I got the manual out, we'll be decalcifying it per the instructions. First you're going to need some white vinegar. It can be distilled or just regular white vinegar. I bought this jug at Walmart for a buck fifty. Now they want you to take, take the milk reservoir, empty the milk out and kind of clean it out first, and then we're going to fill it up with um, to the max with vinegar. Okay, so we're just going to pour the, the straight vinegar right up to the max line. Make sure this is all assembled and then you're just gonna put it back in the machine. It's a little tricky getting in. Next, they want a, a filter in, the porta filter, and then make sure it's empty and go ahead and install it. Then you're gonna need a container that holds about 14 ounces at least and direct the milk wand into it. They want you to empty the water reservoir and then we're gonna fill it up halfway with vinegar. So here I've got the water reservoir. I'm pouring the straight vinegar right into the halfway mark. It's kind of hard to judge right about there. Okay, so now you're simply gonna turn the machine on on the right side and you're gonna hit this clean button. Now the vinegar does stink a little bit going through a coffee maker. So you may want a little bit, little bit of ventilation. After this is done, we gotta do a bunch of fresh water rinses to get the vinegar out of the machine. So it is kind of noisy when it's doing this operation. It's just got water running out, then there's gonna be some steam in a minute. So it cycles, it, it makes you think it's done, but the clean light is still on, the display is blank, and now it's kind of like soaking that uh, vinegar a little bit. Okay, so it came out of clean mode. I'm gonna empty this out. We're going to do one more clean. Press the clean button one more time. Okay, so it came out of clean mode again. So it runs a little bit of vinegar from the milk frother and from the back. Let's empty this one more time. Be careful, that is hot. I like to, I noticed that there's not much that comes out the, uh, the espresso side. I like to do a couple double shot espressos to run um, the vinegar through the espresso head. Because you can't get some mineral buildup on that espresso uh, water head. And again, I like to do about three of these double shots, just a double shot. Okay, so be careful. I'm going to remove this porta filter. It will have some hot water in it. It's nice to clean that espresso head too with vinegar. That's why I run vinegar on the, on the espresso side. Okay, so we're done using the vinegar. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna empty out that vinegar and I'm gonna clean this with soap and water, clean that with soap and water, fill this up with just fresh water now. Same with the water reservoir. I'm gonna empty out the rest of this vinegar and I'm gonna fill it up to the max line with fresh water. Okay, I've got this filled up with fresh water. I've got the water reservoir in the back filled up with fresh water. I clean this out, we're gonna reinstall this. Get your container that you use, make sure it's directed in there. Now you're gonna press, press the clean button again. Now the purpose of this is to clean out that vinegar. We don't want any vinegar left in the machine. Okay, so I like the, so that it always comes out of this cleaning mode after about, oh, about a minute and a half, two minutes. I like to do four of these cleans, so just keep, after I do four of these cleans, I'm still gonna have some fresh water left in here in the back. Then I like to do a bunch of double lattes. What that's gonna do is that's gonna run. The double latte is gonna run a bunch of water through the espresso side and the milk frothing side. So just hit the double latte. We wanna do this until this reservoir goes empty and the back one. If this one goes empty before the back one, you're gonna put some more water in this one. 
because we definitely want to run this whole tank of water through the machine. And maybe even a little bit more. Okay, so when that fin, just keep hitting the double latte, empty out your container. So after about the fourth double latte, you are gonna have to put some more fresh water in here to finish brewing out the rest of that water in the back. So just keep it, hit, keep hitting the, the double latte until it's all empty, then the machine is ready to use. You have, you have to give yourself about 45 minutes start to finish on this. Thanks everybody for watching.